to Sips and Stories. My name is Elizabeth and in today's video I will be taking you on a tour of the free little libraries in Spokane, Washington. I recently relocated to Spokane and I really love it here. It has all the amenities of a bigger city like Seattle and Portland with a small town charm and atmosphere. It is also home to several local universities, including Gonzaga University, home to our famous basketball team. A lot of people here are young and well-read, and they love their free little libraries. They are peppered throughout the city, so I will take you on the north side by Gonzaga and up into the South Hill with some of our older homes to see those charming free little libraries. I might also pop over to Coeur d'Alene, which is just 30 minutes east of Spokane. They also have a lot of really fantastic free little libraries as well. Before I head out though, I thought I would show you some of the books that I plan on bringing with me on this tour because as you know with the free little libraries, in order to take a book you have to give a book. So here are some books from recent wrap up videos of mine that I plan to donate on this free little library tour. The first book that I plan on donating is The Essex Serpent by Sarah Perry. You might recognize this one from a wrap up video I did last year and I really enjoyed The Essex Serpent. I think it'll go quickly at the Free Little Libraries. It is the story of Cora Seaborn and William Ranscombe and they are on the hunt for the infamous Essex Serpent, think Loch Ness Monster, who has been terrorizing this small coastal town. It is also set in Victorian England so it's a historical novel, moody, atmospheric, and so much fun. Next up I will be donating Vicious by V.E. Schwab. V.E. Schwab is one of those authors that is hugely popular now so I do not expect one of her books to linger long in the free little libraries. I'm not exactly sure if Vicious is an adult novel or a YA novel but we did read this book in YA book club and we all really enjoyed it. It's about two best friends who are in grad school and they are majoring in bioengineering and genetics and they decide to become superheroes and transform themselves and give themselves superpowers. But once they undergo the transformation, they end up becoming bitter enemies and they hunt each other down in this book. It's a lot of fun, especially for fans of Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. I think of it as a modern retelling of Frankenstein personally. I really liked it and again, V. Schwab is a very popular author so I think someone will pick this up very quickly. Another book that we read recently in YA Book Club is Graceling by Kristen Kishore. This is a YA classic. All of us really enjoyed it, especially after we read the blurb on the back which says, Katza has been able to kill a man with her bare hands since she was eight. She's a Graceling, one of the rare people in her land born with the extreme skill. And because she is the niece of a king, he sends her out on to do all his dirty deeds. And she ends up dealing with the morality of that and the ethics of that. She ends up saving her kingdom too from another neighboring kingdom with the help of the handsome Prince Poe. Again, this was a fun one. And I think some teen out there is really going to benefit from reading Graceling. Next up, I have two books that you might recognize from my recent Middle Grade March wrap-up video. Uh, Middle Grade March was so much fun. I read tons of books that month and two that really stood out to me were Three Keys by Kelly Yang. This is the sequel to her hugely popular book Front Desk. I do not have a copy of Front Desk. I borrowed my copy at the library. So Front Desk is hugely available, which is why I'm hoping someone has already read it and will be excited to see the sequel in the free little libraries. The next middle grade book that I will be donating is Tangled in Time, The Portal by Katherine Lasky. Katherine Lasky is a very famous historical fiction writer, especially for middle grade. She's best known for those Royal Diaries books that we all know and love from elementary school. This is her latest series, Tangled in Time, and it is a lot of fun. It is about a young girl named Rose who travels back in time to Tudor England and ends up becoming best friends with Princess Elizabeth. Again, I think this one's gonna go very fast in the free little libraries. And finally, I'll be bringing along a few books that I really feel represent me and this channel the most. The first, of course, is Persuasion by Jane Austen. And again, I don't think you see many Jane Austens hanging out in the free little libraries. They tend to get picked up very quickly. 
This is my old copy of Persuasion by Jane Austen, and it's really in good shape, an old Arcturus edition. I recently picked up the new Thomas Nelson edition with the laser cut dust jacket, so I'm happy to donate this book to the Free Little Libraries. And again, I think Jane Austen will be a winner in the Free Little Libraries. Alrighty everyone, those are the books that I will be donating on my tour of the free little libraries here in Spokane. So let's get out there and see what we find. Alright, let's hit the road and go check out Spokane's free little libraries. Let's go. Right, here we are at our first stop. I think I will donate Persuasion by Jane Austen. Ooh, this is a nice one. Let's see what they got. Dr. Phil action. Nora Roberts, that's always good. Ooh, nice. All right. All right, I think we'll leave that one there. Let's go. Here we are at our next stop. I will be donating Graceling by Kristen Kishore. Let's check it out. Oh, this one's cute. Little fairy garden. I really like it. Let's see what they've got. Ooh, let's see. Angels in America. Ooh, more Dr. Phil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your money, your life. Awesome. Ooh, bringing up girls. All right. I think I'll trade her Hunger Games for Graceling. Alright, here we are at our next free little library. This one I'll be donating The Essex Serpent by Sarah Perry. Let's check out what they've got. Ooh, it's a cute one. Nice neighborhood. Alright. Look, looks like a man reader. That one there. Oh, you know what? I've actually wanted to read this one. The hundred year old man who climbed out the window and disappeared. I think I'll take this one. And here we are at one of my favorite free little libraries in Spokane at Francis Scott School. And just take a look at that free little library. Isn't that adorable? Shaped like a little schoolhouse. I'll be donating Three Keys by one of my favorite middle grade authors, Kelly Yang. Let's see what they've got. Oh, this is such a cute one at the school. Ooh, House on the Cerulean Sea. That's a pretty good one. Ben Carson's biography. That sounds pretty good. Maybe I'll take that one. Oh, just a lot of great books for kids in this one, of course. Oh, some Eric Carlisle. I love it. All right, I think I'll take Ben Carson's bio here. And here we are at one of the best free little libraries in our area in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, is this free little library carved out of a 110 year old tree trunk. How cool is that? So neat. I feel like I'm in Lord of the Rings visiting the hobbits. Let's go see what they have. I'm gonna donate Tangled in Time by Katherine Lasky. This one, Outside In. I like the cover art on this. How fun. stop on our free little library tour of Spokane, the beautiful South Hill area. I'll be donating Vicious by Vicky Schwab. Let's see what they've got. Oh, this looks like a nice one. Tom Clancy, some Dan Brown, some Sandra Brown. Alrighty. And that concludes our tour of the Free Little Libraries in Spokane. So there you have it everyone. Thank you again for joining me on my tour of Spokane's Free Little Libraries. As you can see, there are a number of really adorable Free Little Libraries in our area, and each one seems to be cuter than the next. 
Let's go over what I found. Again, to recap, one of the books that I picked up was The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. If you remember, I traded Graceling for The Hunger Games, so it was a good YA trade. I think I misplaced my copy of The Hunger Games and I haven't read it in a long time, so I think it's a great opportunity this summer to reread The Hunger Games. Happy to have this one. The next one I found was The Hundred Year Old Man Who Climbed Out the Window and Disappeared. This one has actually been on my TBR for quite some time, so I think out of all the books I found during this trip, this is the one I'm most excited to read. It is about a 100-year-old man named Alan Carlson who, on the day of his 100th birthday, climbs out the window of his nursing home and goes on this epic adventure. It sounds like a lot of fun. Friends of mine have told me that this is a really cute little book and I'm looking forward to reading it. And then again, I do not know why I picked this one up. There was a lot of biographies, obviously, in the free little library. So I picked up One Nation by Ben Carson. And I love Ben Carson. I know he didn't become president, but I almost wish that he had. Um, and he's super smart, right? He's a neurosurgeon. Looking forward to reading his biography and what he thinks that we can do to fix America. Sounds pretty good. And if you remember the one that I found in the free little library that was carved into that 100-year-old tree trunk was Outside In by Sarah Ellis. I don't know why I picked this book up. I think I was just intrigued with the cover art, really cool front cover, seemed like some sort of really fun YA coming of age story. And reading the back cover, it actually sounds pretty good. It is about two friends, Lynn and Blossom and Lynn's family secretly li lives beneath a city reservoir um, and changes Lynn's ideas about materialism and beauty and what it really means to be a friend. So I actually might read this one. Uh, it sounds pretty good. There you go. That concludes my tour of Spokane's free little libraries. Thank you for joining me and have a great day.